I noticed this tweet making the rounds a few days ago, and I decided it's the perfect time to talk about the Congo Free State and Leopold II. The point of the tweet was to show that Hitler killed 10 million people as one of the most notorious figures in history, while King Leopold II killed maybe even more than that and is lesser known. I agree, they're both garbage human beings, but I do have one problem with the tweet. In AP World History, we do teach about King Leopold II. He's in Unit 6, The Consequences of Industrialization. At the Berlin Conference in 1884, King Leopold II took personal control of the Congo, renaming it the Congo Free State. He then proceeded to use it as his private rubber plantation, and if the people didn't meet their quotas, he would chop off their hands and feet. It's one of the worst moments in human history and exemplifies the horrors of European imperialism in the late 19th and early 20th centuries. Eventually, the Belgians took control of Leopold's Congo Free State and the reign of red rubber began to come to an end. 